If you remember correctly, a couple of months ago we did a review on Jones Plus i400 case, which was just an outstanding case, and I have to admit, really enjoyed building that one as I already stated. But today we're going to talk about Jones Plus uh, HX6250, the CPU tower cooler that goes up to 162 millimeters of height. It has 140 millimeter fan, which is PWM controlled, and the TDP goes up to 250 watts. So quite remarkable to have it right here because we have only one fan, quite thick heatsink, and quite interesting results. So let's check it out, place it in a build and go through everything that you need to know. Now when you open the box, of course you get an accessory kit uh, for mounting the HX6250 and of course you have an instruction manual that literally says everything that you need to know. So the top part is magnetic and you do need to remove it to access the screws to mounting the CPU tower cooler, actually the heatsink on your CPU. But before that, if you're for instance mounting it on your AMD processor, you leave the original backplate, you just have to remove those standoffs and four screws from the original stand on the motherboard and use the backplate for this CPU cooler. Right after that, you use the standoffs that are specifically designed for AMD. You use some sort of a hexagon uh, plate that is placed on those standoffs and you use four screws to attach it to the backplate. Now, after that, when you remove the, the magnetic top from the CPU tower cooler, you use their long screwdriver to attach the heatsink to the plate. And basically, after that, the only thing that is left is placing the huge uh, fan on the heatsink and placing back uh, the cover uh, of the heatsink. Now, when we're talking about the design, it really does look outstanding. We have a nice uh, brushed uh, lookalike aluminium, which looks quite nice, especially with the logo on top. And the fan really blends in with the heatsink. In the accessory box, uh, also, you get a thermal grizzly thermal paste, you get additional um, fan mounting, you get Intel backplate, we have additional mounting plates, uh, thumb screws and standoffs uh, that you need to use for your Intel socket. Now when we're talking about some uh, certain specifications about the heatsink and the fan, we have the total dimensions of HX6250, uh, which are 162 of height, uh, 144, 121. Heatsink dimensions are 156, uh, 138, 95. The fan dimensions are 140 times 140 times 25. Talking about heat pipe size, we have six of them, which diameter is six millimeters. The fan speed goes from 700 to 1800 RPMs with the CFM from 34.57 to 90.2. Uh, the noise level is less than 38 decibels at full speed. You can also use LNA, which is a low noise adapter, and then you lower the speeds of the fan from 400 to 1200 RPMs, of course you lower the CFM and the decibel noise is up to 28 decibels. Uh, thankfully we have the 4-pin PWM connection so you can connect it with that and use it uh, for controlling the speed. Since this case has a possibility to mount your GPU vertically or horizontally, it's all up to you, but when we're talking about CPU tower coolers, there's literally very small possibility to mount it vertically when the CPU tower cooler is placed. And that's because you're left with a couple of millimeters of space to wiggle the GPU inside. So uh, I wanted to do two tests with vertical and horizontal GPU, but unfortunately I did only this way just because the GPU starts bumping here and on on front where the power supply is and doesn't give enough space. Uh, the only other way is basically to place the GPU first and then the CPU tower cooler. Now, in this position, I was quite curious because three fans are on bottom, three fans are on top as an exhaust. The bottom ones, of course, are intake. 
and uh, I was really considering will the um, fans on the bottom well will the GPU block the fans on the bottom for the uh, temperature of the CPU now testing it out like this I got uh, 66 Celsius degrees on AMD Ryzen 5 5600G the GPU isn't relevant, but uh, since last time I did vertical GPU mounting and now it's horizontal, the GPU went 64 Celsius degrees. I would say this is quite all right, just because you have a case that is designed for chimney effect, but still you place a GPU uh, horizontally and blocks the bottom fans for the intake on the CPU. This way, CPU gets air somehow and well the cpu tower cooler and it cools down quite nicely i would say 66 on this processor in this kind of case in this uh configuration is outstanding and definitely thumbs up so i have to admit this way looks just cool outstanding love the clean design on the top cover of the heatsink even though the heatsink isn't a standard aluminium color it's uh, black so it kind of goes with the whole uh, build and everything uh, what to say uh, i think it could uh, take up uh, even stronger cpus uh, just because this case is designed this way if for instance we went with fractal torrent case and i'm mentioning it just because it's an outstanding airflow case and i think this cpu tower cooler would breathe so much air from the two 180 millimeter fans from the front and from the bottom giving so much air to the cooler and giving it more cooling power so yeah i think this cpu tower cooler really deserves a nice score and uh, definitely a recommendation if you're checking out something from jones plus even with this case it cools it and it will definitely work so guys all in all check out the links below for the hx6250 if you decide to do so and of course for the jones plus uh, i400 which is still a remarkable case and one of my favorites uh, so you can check out the price and where to buy it thank you for watching today's video don't forget to click the subscribe button like button if you like the video and notification bell for future content so hopefully i will see you in another one bye bye